I was talking with Doman about this actually not too long ago about uh, you know Mexicans uh, that use the the N word, mm -hmm. and because you know because uh, I know I don't know about you but I know like growing up like in Houston for me like you know we we grew up around black people. And, you know, we went to school and there was, it was, you know, we would use that word. It's just like another uh, synonym for homie. But uh, I, I, and then, so like, I want to ask you, like, what, what do you think about like Mex? Like, what's the, what's the, we'll just do Mexican rappers. Like, what do you, like, what do you think about them using the, the N word? I mean, when, like, just like you said, when I grew up, I mm -hmm. was the only Mexican in all black friends. Mm -hmm. When I went to school, all my friends were black. You know what I mean? I was the only Mexican. So they were like my brothers, you yeah. know what I mean? Like to this day, I got a whole bunch of people that I've known for 20 years or whatever yeah. that known me since elementary, middle school, high school that I, you know, hung out with. I mean, don't get me wrong and say I never hung out with any Mexicans because that was all like, that was my neighborhood. Yeah. When I stepped outside into the streets, it was, I'm, I'm in the barrio, you know what I yeah. mean? Like it's all Mexicans there. But when I went to school and, you know, went around like you know the general public i had a lot of black friends i i never grew up seeing race as i never seen a color i have white friends mm -hmm. i got a lot of asian friends i'll go somewhere and hang out with none but asian people you know what i mean and be <laughs> yeah. the only mexican too yeah and you know same thing with white people like i never grew up like oh no nah, i don't hang around them because they're a different skin tone than me right you know what i mean like and i've never had conflict because of that and i've used the word around them plenty of times if mm -hmm. not almost every day and just i've never had any of them try to fight me or hey don't say that or mm -hmm. you know whatever because they know how i'm saying it they know yeah. what i mean they they say it back to me you know what i mean yeah and it's just certain ways like i mean you can use it in the derogatory form you mm -hmm. know what i mean but i've never used it like that yeah i've never used you know slander towards white people or asian people or you know whatever like yeah. like i said race i've never seen race i got fangs of all colors all shapes all sizes young old you know whatever so as far as like there's artists that might just sometimes when you rapping and you just using the same word over and over mm-hmm it just means that your rap skill level ain't there to where you could just, I have four songs when I don't even have to say one curse word. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? If you curse in every other bar, you're not really writing bars. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? You trying to fill everything in with a curse word. But here's here here's a question. Here's a, do people really care about bars like they used to? I mean. What do you think? I mean, I think you have to. You know what I mean? Cause no, I'm talking like, like the, the general, like the, like the general public. The general, I mean, you hear what's on the radio now. What's on the radio is kind of like dumbed down, mm -hmm. mainstream, you know, whatever. But there's also people that are lyrically, you know, going hard. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And it's just up to the, I mean, it's up to how the general public kind of perceives everything. But there's also them people that always want to turn something into controversy. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? No matter what, like. I guess, um, you know, there's certain artists that say that that kind of okay. For instance, like six nine, mm -hmm. like he says that every other word in yeah. all his interviews and all that. But you got to see where he came from, where he grew up with, who he hung around with. You know what I mean? In order for him to, I'm not saying that certain people should get a pass and certain people don't. Mm -hmm. But it's like if you was born and raised and, you know, really lived that life, then people are not going to hold that to you. You mm. know what I mean? People are not going to say he's a racist or people are not going to say, oh, he's, um, you know, he's talking bad or making derogatory yeah. about a certain group of people. Like, you know, yeah, I mean, there de understand. definitely is like it's a distinction, like right. like between like how you use the word. For sure. Of course, there are there are people out there, you know, with. You know that use it with a, a, a racial of, slur. There's groups of Mexicans that use it within each other, where there might not be one black person in the yes. group, but all the Mexicans are calling each other that. Well, white people are doing the same thing. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, and the, but the question is like, is it okay? And and that's and that, uh, 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 Doe Man was saying like like you know, he, like he was basically saying like you know what, what we're talking about, like how we grew up using the word 
together, but that he's kind of like had to, um, like he he tries not to use it. Yeah, I mean, I'm the same way. You know what I'm saying? I try not to use it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Maybe back in the day, I was kind of more a little bit careless and you know said it all the time and you know stuff like that. But nowadays, we in a whole different generation. You know what I mean? Right. And any little thing can be taken out of context. Mm-hmm. Any little thing can can go viral. Any little thing can just be blown out of proportion for the wrong reasons. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I, I, like, I, I, like look ahead. at what happened to Joe Rogan, like, yeah. recently. You yeah. know what I mean? Which I honestly don't think Joe Rogan is racist. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Or, I mean, however he meant it or whatever, that's, that's, that's him. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, deep down in his heart, he knows whether he – is a racist or he's not. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people, you, you, you can't hold them to that because the environment they grew up in, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like if you look at stuff that happened in the forties and the fifties, like you had water fountains that only white people could drink out of, you know what I True. mean? And that was just what, what was being taught to them and shown to them and what the little kids were growing up and thinking that that was right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But now it's different. You know what I mean? People were, now protesting everything and fighting for their rights and fighting for equality and fighting for everything, whether it's women wanting women's rights, whether it's, you know, people wanting, you know, just, just to be equal. And yeah. The trans look at, look at the NFL. People were taking a kneel, you know what I yeah, mean? Take like, it, yeah. So, I mean, it, it's, it's like I say, I don't, I don't, I tried not to, I try not to even curse in my, in my raps anymore. You oh, know really? What I mean? Yeah. Like, I mean, I might say it here and then, but like I said, like when I'm writing my bars, I'm not trying to fill it in with curse words. You know what oh, I mean? Okay. I'm trying to fill it in with that word that's going to write off this last bar, write off this word and, mm-hmm. and, you know, rhyme with this and rhyme with that. And But that's just me trying to develop myself into more of a lyricist. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Rather than just saying whatever. You know what I mean? Like even when I talk to SPM, SPM is one of the greatest lyricists ever. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. He taught me about different rhyme patterns and, you know, you could have all these words in this bar and then all these words in the next bar. And instead of just the last two words rhyming, Mm -hmm. you could rhyme every single word with this sentence with the next sentence. Yeah. So it's it's, like I took that as like going to a next level. That's next level. I've seen that. Yeah.